fix my sunglasses. Steve, what's up, buddy? You gonna start for me today? Steven, come on, buddy. Well, Steve's a Tennessee boy at heart. He's not necessarily used to uh, negative two degrees. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Just in case. Well, we got the car started after 30 minutes of tinkering around, but I do need to get a new battery or else I think that that one's gonna probably be dead in the morning. So we're gonna go see if we can find one quick. Oh my gosh. Steve, you're an animal. All right. Let's get out of here. You guys remember last year, I camped at negative 21 degrees in my truck. I think it'll be a little more comfortable in this RV as long as things are working properly. But this is my first time camping in this, uh, in this vehicle in the cold. So things are probably going to go wrong. And in case they do, I'm prepared, but what a great day to test it. First we're gonna run to the auto parts store and see if we can't find a new battery for Steve. This is how I'm trying to not beat him up. No jump for me. Let's go Steve. How you doing? I'm looking for a starting battery. Hey, you're Matt, Marcus. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing, man? Nice to meet I saw you. That, uh, the high you saw. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny, right? Some of your videos, man. Thanks, dude. I appreciate. It. What's your name? Chris. Chris, nice to meet yeah, you, man. You no way. Whew. How'd you do that? Ooh. I just kind of grabbed it from the bottom and just. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. You got the finesse, man. Very tight fit. Very. We got our new batteries installed in here. I'm gonna check to see if I got my auxiliary power. It's looking like I do. Hey. Maverick, nice to meet you, Cody. Nice to meet you. Thank you for your finesse. You're welcome. Next stop, the grocery store. Hi there, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Could I get some chicken strips, please? Yeah. Thank you. you know. yeah. Hi. Going? Good, how are you? Doing well, thank you. Thanks, Max. Have a good day. Wow. Starts right up now. What's up, Steve? Well, 
Well, I'm down to five gallons in the 10 gallon tank for diesel, so better fill up if we don't want to uh, wake up cold. And she's already full. I had to get myself a snack. I'm freaking starving. Mashed potatoes and gravy with the chicken strips. Oh my good lord. This bussin. Woo! Our heavenly lord, Colonel Sanders, be thy name. <coughs> mm. I got a full tank, a halfway full belly, and a mean stiff arm. So let me know if you're trying to get run over. Just kidding. Maybe you're wondering how cold it is. Right now it's two degrees, but by 7 a.m. it looks like, well, it's saying right now that it's gonna be negative 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Just got the loud generator started. Lights turned on here. Dude, it's warm. It's not bad in here right now. Yeah, we're gonna shut that off now. It's just a little, a little bit too loud. I'm happy that the diesel heater is working because last time it wasn't. It's pretty sweet because all you do is just, you literally just turn this little dial and you can choose how hot you want it. I forgot that I brought my my slippers in here so I don't make it all gross. There we go. Well, I just realized that I made kind of a, a little bit of an oopsie. I forgot the propane hose attachment for this. So, I don't know how I forgot that, dude. Well, it was bound to happen sometime, right? Okay, so I got this stove. I think I have enough gas to cook with it, but we'll see here. Oh geez, that feels light. Well, we don't really have a choice now. Diesel heater's still running with the engine off, so that's a good sign. One thing that I'm really excited about is I just got some new knives. Tonight will be my first night cooking with these. And I'm really excited to try them out. I know I need to get a roll bag. If you guys have one that you recommend, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comment below. Look at how sexy these things are. These are all hand forged in Japan. These aren't the ones that have been popping up on your Facebook feed. Woo! For dinner tonight, I'm gonna be making a vegetable yuk, uh, Korean rice porridge. This comes from a viewer named uh, Sherry Ann from Oakland, California. She said, this is usually eaten to not only fill the stomach, but to warm the soul as well. And to help if the weather is cold or one isn't feeling well or needs comfort. Thank you for your positive spirit. I enjoy your videos and think your parents did a great job with you. I already like cooking and I'm inspired by your videos. And what better to chef up in the new JDM vehicle than with my new Japanese knives. Kind of backwards on making a Korean dish, but hey. Close enough, right? Kind of? No, it's not, actually. Because it's so cold outside, I turn my water off. I don't want hoses freezing.
Everyone's got a different ratio for ice, but if it's anything different than one to one, you're wrong. Dude, I cannot believe I forgot my propane. That's crazy. Over two and a half years of doing this. Never have I ever done that. These are so sharp. Like sticks to the cutting board. I'm gonna cut. This knife is so sharp, it's crazy. I can't remember the brand of this one. But these are like those are like chef's grade knives. I finally, for the first time in my life, spent some money on some knives. Because why not, right? I'm so excited I forgot to even use this one. I should probably try that one out, huh? Wow. My life has changed. That looks pretty tasty. When I'm in the truck, it's hard to tell how big of a mess I am. Not complaining about being in the heat right now though. It is officially negative five outside right now. It's like 9 p.m. Um, the lower level, it's pretty cold. My feet are honestly pretty cold, but hopefully the soup goes straight to my feet. That's really good. I'd give that like a 7.8. Maybe even 8.2. It's going up. If I'd had some more toppings, I think it would have been just a little bit better. Like some sesame seeds. It was a lot of fun using my new knives too. I'm excited to... I'm, it's, it feels good to be excited to cook. Not that I wasn't before, but now I'm like extra excited. Yeah, it's my, uh, this is, this is Steve. He's a little dirty right now, but this is Steve. That's a lot bigger than my truck bed.
it was definitely nice being able to be inside for the night. Not complaining. Feeling pretty accomplished too since I got brand new batteries put in. Diesel heater's running. We'll have to see if it'll last all night, but at least we have heat now. It is kind of like a little coffin up here still, but that's okay. Not like my truck at the beginning was very roomy. Okay. Right now we're getting somewhere. Nice. Everything's happening for the first time at the same time. Oh, it's pleasant up here. It's nice and warm. I'm gonna guess it's like a solid 60 degrees, like all over in here at least. It's not like blazing hot, but I'll tell you what, it's definitely a lot nicer than it is outside. If the heater goes out tonight, which I feel like it's going to for some reason, maybe that's the cynic in me, but I have a negative 20 degree bag right there, so. Worst case Ontario, I just get in that guy. Steve, you're a pretty cool dude. It's really weird for me to be filming content um, in something that's not the truck, but feels like I'm at the W, you know, all the amenities. The spot that I parked at is like really nice for sunrise, so probably end up waking up pretty early. It's 10 o'clock right now, I'll probably be up by five, six, seven. We're still rocking a solid negative four degrees. Feels like negative 21. Ain't that the truth? Right there. Good night to you. Good night to Steve. Good night, Steve. Choke. Must be out of gas or something. I don't know what the heck. So I'm kind of worried about being able to get the car started tomorrow and also worried about killing my auxiliary battery with the uh, with our little buddy, our heater. Good morning. Not a good start. And would you be willing to like help me get my freaking uh, RV basically towed slash started? Because I'm kind of in a kind of in a pinch here. Maybe call and get closer. Thank, thanks, buddy. Yep, no problem. Oh, my, my buddy Brody's on his way to come help me out. This is turning to be one of the one of the goofiest camping trips ever. 
In hindsight, Steve, maybe we shouldn't have gone camping together last night. It was a little cold, bud. Howdy. Been better. It's cold out for no socks, buddy. <laughs> Thank God. Oh my gosh. Oh, Steve. It's cold, bud. Oh. Oh. Woo! I'm thankful that all it needed was a jump. I thought it was for sure going to need some gel. Probably one of the most eventful camping trips that I've been on. I definitely had fun. Hopefully you were entertained. Until next time, you're on the drill. Just keep on trucking, baby.